I would like to take this gun, put it into a little cannon, and then shoot it straight into the sun. This is by far one of the worst, if not the worst tool that I've ever used. So let's get into my 47 minutes of testing with the Milwaukee M18 18 gauge cordless brad nailer. Take it out of the box. I mean, the fit and finish on this thing is first class all the way. Rubberized bits here for laying it down. Something that I like about the gun is it will stand up nicely. Say you're doing some production work, you're building some cabinets. It's nice to just set your gun upright like that, grab onto it and then put pieces together. So I like that, the balance on this thing. Now this thing is uh, about six and a half pounds with the two amp battery on it. So it's gonna be about twice as heavy as your typical air nailer. But the balance on it, honestly, you could use this all day and not be, not be hating it. The balance is really nice. With the two amp battery, it balances right at the trigger point. With the five amp battery, it does balance a little off and it wouldn't be ideal. Even kind of the horizontal balance of this thing is right where you're gonna be grabbing onto it. So if you're shooting sideways like door casings and whatnot, I mean, the fit and finish on this gun is first class. Really like it. The belt hook here is it's nice and rounded, so it's not going to be scratching any kind of finished materials. Sticks out nice. This would just be awesome. Love the belt hook here. You have a couple different modes. You have to turn the gun on. You have to hold the button down for about two seconds. And one minor annoyance here is that if you do have it in rapid fire where you can pull the trigger and then just pop, 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 it does switch back to single fire every time. So if you prefer to have it in that uh, pop, pop, pop mode, the rapid fire, you have to switch it. Um, there could be some way to lock it on there, but I'm not aware of that. The nail jam, super, super nice. And then probably one of my favorite things about this gun is the multi tips here. You have three different tips that you can choose from. I've always preferred the tip that kind of covers up the whole end. So you can go that way if you like, you have the little locating line on the bottom of all three tips so that's really cool the tips are nice and secure on here can't say enough good things about the fit and finish of this gun when it comes to using this gun does it set nails does it leave a clean hole absolutely not this is absolute trash this, this thing cannot set a nail consistently to save its life perhaps i've gotten lemon Perhaps I'm not using the right nails, but I've tried. I've driven all over town looking for different nails to try. Um, I started off with just the ones that I have. Porter cable, galvanized, inch and a half. This is what I usually use for baseboards or door casings. Absolutely no. It's just misfiring, breaking off nails, not setting them all the way. Go online and come to find out that this thing does not do well with galvanized nails. So I head over to the local lumber yard. All they have is galvanized nails there, but they have electro galvanized, which is less coating than just a fully galvanized nail. It's almost like there's no coating at all on these electro galvanized nails. And this, uh, what is it? The Fanco fasteners. Most of the lumber yards in town sell this brand and I've always used them in the past. They were just as bad. Not setting, breaking off, jamming, just a nightmare. Go back online. Okay, you need to get some kind of a nail with no coating on it. Go to a couple of, I'm driving all over town, all over the place. I want this gun to work. I don't wanna make a review and just dump on something and say that it's the absolute worst. Go, I finally find some nails at Canadian Tire. These Bostitch nails, there's no coating. They're indoor nails. They're definitely better. And you can see, where was it here? So yeah, I really put it to the test here. Much, much better than any kind of a coating nail, but still not 100%. You know, I probably fired in 100 nails and you know, there's probably like five or six that are still not quite setting. The nails aren't breaking off, which is nice, but still. The main job of a nail gun is to put nails in to the right depth without making a giant mess out of the material. 
This Milwaukee gun fails miserably at that task. I am definitely taking this thing back to the store, hoping to get a full refund. <laughs> a guy that I ran into that I knew from school at the lumber yard recommended the 18 volt Matibo nail gun. If you have any recommendations, drop them in the comments when it comes to cordless nailers. I definitely am not a fan of the Milwaukee. And hey, if you wanna see a review on one of my all time top three favorite tools, the Festool CXS, check out this video right over here. <sighs> Can this be funny? It's hard to say.